In this video, I want to work through this problem where it looks like we have the subtraction of two rational expressions and we know the difference right over here. So when I subtract them, I get 3 over x minus 2. But I don't know what this numerator is, so I would like to, you know, determine what polynomial belongs in this numerator. So in order to do that, we need to first factor all the denominators and kind of work the process we do whenever we are subtracting rational expressions. So what I can do here first is do factor by grouping, and then on this one it looks like it's difference of squares. So x minus 2, x plus 2, okay? So over on this one, I'm going to factor out first an x squared, and I'm going to have 2x minus 1, and then I'm going to factor out a minus 4, and then it looks like I'll have a 2x minus 1. So my x squared minus 4 is one of the factors with 2x minus 1. But of course I see here that this is also difference of squares again. Okay, so x plus 2, x minus 2, 2x minus 1. This is what I have for a denominator in the first rational expression. This is what I have for a denominator in the second rational expression. And the x minus 2 here is the only thing I have left in my difference. Okay? So what that means is whatever this common denominator happens to come out to be, I cancel a lot of stuff from the numerator to denominator. I'm only left with x minus 2. Okay, well, let's see what that might look like. So your common denominator here, or your LCD in this situation, we have an x plus 2, x minus 2. So x plus 2, x minus 2. So we'll definitely have that. And then it looks like we also have this 2x minus 1, okay, that this guy does not have. So we'll have to run through and multiply the top and bottom by the missing factor 2x minus 1. So let's go ahead and do that. And I'm going to leave this as a question mark for now because I'm just not sure what that is. So the question mark minus, so minus, we have the 3x minus 2 in parentheses, because this is the entire numerator. And what am I going to do with that numerator? Well, I'm going to multiply it by the missing factor, 2x minus 1. <clears throat> okay, so let's go ahead and see what that looks like. So 6x squared minus 3x minus 4x plus 2. So, uh, 6x squared minus 7x plus 2. And what I've got here now is when I distribute this negative, it's minus 6x squared plus 7x minus 2. Okay? So this is what the, the whole numerator turns out to be uh, on the left side of this equation. So I've gotten common denominators, and this whole numerator is the question mark minus these terms, right? So let's go ahead and write that all now with that common denominator. So x plus 2, x minus 2, 2x two minus 1. Okay, and what does this equal? Well, we know from up here the difference was 3 over x minus 2. Okay, well, in order to have just x minus 2 in the denominator, which is this guy, we know that the x plus 2 and the 2x minus 1 must have canceled out. So I'm going to extend my fraction bar, and I'm going to put the x plus 2 and the 2x minus 1 in both places, right? Because I know ultimately, you know, they canceled out. So what would this numerator be? Okay. Well, 3 times, and let's multiply these together, so 2x squared minus x plus 4x minus 2. So 2x squared plus 3x minus 2. And when I distribute that 3, I'll have 6x squared plus 9x minus 6. Okay? So what is that? Well, let's go back up to this numerator, because now we have common denominators all the way across for the entire equation. So now I can just focus my efforts on the numerator. So I have this question mark. Yeah, I don't know what it is. But from that question mark, I subtracted 6x squared, added 7x, and subtracted 2. 
Okay, so if I go through and solve for this question mark, I'm going to run through and just do my basic uh, properties of equality. So I'm going to add 6x squared to both sides. I'm going to minus 7x from both sides. And I'm going to add 2 to both sides. So cancel, cancel, cancel. And that question mark that I wasn't sure what polynomial that represented, I'm ready to get it now. So 12x squared plus 2x minus 4. And that is the missing polynomial. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, talk through what just happened one more time. That way you can kind of get a, a better idea, kind of recap a little bit. So we started with a rational expression here equaling to another rational expression. Essentially, I was subtracting two rational expressions and I had their difference right here. Obviously, all of these denominators are different. So what I need to do first is to factor all the denominators and figure out what the common denominator is and just give every single rational expression that common denominator. Okay? Once I do that, then I'm left with a situation right here, and then I'm just ready to solve. I just need to set these two numerators equal to each other. So what did we do? Well, I worked through conceptually kind of what we were doing along the way, but the bird's eye view, kind of the big picture idea of what we did was get common denominators for every single rational expression and then just focus on solving the numerator equation that you're left with. Okay, so in that example, that missing polynomial was 12x squared plus 2x minus 4.